Good morning everybody, we are here. It's day one in Orlando. We're at Universal Surfside. Come with us. So this morning we have just had our breakfast. We had one of those lovely pizza things. Breakfast pizza. Yeah, put that in here. So we've just come down to our breakfast and I'm feeling great. So I'm like, I can eat anything. I'm really fancying this breakfast pizza, which we have had in a previous vlog. However, it had to be done this morning. So we've got, I think it's scrambled eggs, bacon, cheese, maybe some kind of sausage there. Is it sausage gravy? I have no idea. I don't know either, but it's absolutely delicious. We thought we'd come and sit outside. Only in Orlando you can have a pizza for breakfast. I know, yeah. Oh, they've got so many options there. We'll film them at breakfast one day. We're sat outside, just by the pool. We can hear the water fountains in the distance. Feels great, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice temperature at the moment. I'm sure yeah. it's going to get a lot hotter. Yeah. I think so. It kind of feels a bit close, mm. doesn't it? But then that's that rain rainstorm coming at midday. So anyway, let's tuck in, I'm so hungry. Check out this one here. This is, we've just come out of the elevator and there's the pool. Looking over the lake there. And we don't actually know where the new Universal theme park's gonna be, but we're taking a guess. It might be there where all those cranes are. However, we could be talking out about behinds. We don't know. We know nothing. We know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't catch yourself on the door handle. <laughs> Problems of being shot. <laughs> this is our room, 2928, on the ninth floor, top floor. And we have trashed the room, kind of. Yeah, look at it. It's trashed. It's trash! Throw the TV out the window. Yeah. No, he did last night. He lost his temper with the TV. He couldn't, he couldn't get any channels. It was saying no signal. We had to call up the, the man to come and fix it, didn't And he did. He was here, what, within yeah. 10 minutes? And he, he fixed it straight away. Bless him. He's going out the window. <laughs> He'd have a hard job because I think this glass is pretty thick. Pretty much the same view we just showed you, actually. Breakfast was wonderful. And we're just about to go out and have a little explore on the iRide trolley. So that we bought with British Airways. I can't remember how much it was. It might have been £14 for the two of us for two weeks. I'll check that in a minute. Anyway, we're going to get the iRide trolley to the premium outlets. Have a look around there. Scott needs some new shoes. And then we are going to get an Uber, hopefully from there, to the Florida Mall. I won't go too much into detail of what we're planning to do because that never goes ahead of it. We're going to go with the flow today. The sun is shining and we are ready for adventure. Let's go. Mm. Okay, it doesn't say on the voucher how much we paid for it, but it wasn't a lot for two weeks. And you have to take your, so if you were British Airways, your voucher and ID. So don't forget those two things. Hopefully this is going to work. I don't know how the bus man is going to go, oh yeah, you've definitely paid. Like, because we could make one of these up, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. There's no like scanny thing. So this could be an adventure. Let's go see. Also, a cool bonus this year is they've given everybody some sanitizer. This was on our desk when we arrived. Haven't tried it yet. Don't know what it smells like. But the fact they've given it us is cool. So guys, we are trying to find the iRide trolley nearest to end of the summer. We've just come out of the gate here at Surfside and we're going this way towards the Icon Park because we've just spotted an iRide trolley stop. So that's where we're heading to now. We've just met Phil, I'm pretty sure it's Phil, from, he, he runs the Endless Summer group and he's shared loads of our videos, bless him. Yeah. Uh, he's so nice, so good to meet you Phil. Really enjoyed that, have a little chat. Hopefully we'll get to stumble across you again soon and get a drink somewhere. Sounds like he's a drinker. Yep. <laughs> cool, let's go. Right, don't use my information as fact, but we believe that from this stop, if we go north, we're gonna end up at the Orlando International Premium Outlets. Hopefully. Yeah, that, that's what we're going with. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't end up right, it doesn't matter, does it? Too much. <laughs> now there is a map on the side here. We've taken a screenshot on our phone so that we can look back on it, but this is G6 north 
yeah so if, if we're right all g6 it's red over here we're gonna go this way to the orlando premium outlets in theory so we've just hopped off the bus at bus stop number one which is the orlando premium outlets we came off on this side but if we want to go back on later we need to go across the road and pick up this bus stop on the opposite side of the road and you'll go back the way we came and this way is the premium outlet so it's literally dropped us off where you can park your car which is brilliant i would also like to say that when we were waiting at the bus stop we bumped into craig who um, recognized us and he watched our vlogs oh, yeah. uh, he was so nice he was from scotland and it was really nice chatting to you craig yeah nice to meet you hope you enjoy your holiday so we've had a good wander around the orlando premium outlets i bought a few things one of them would be a christmas dress I absolutely love it. I'll show you guys when we get in. I wanted to try it on with the right bra because that will really help. Um, so if it's not perfect, then I will take it back later in the week. But I do love it. Scott doesn't like it so much because it's very glittery. Well, I like it. It's really nice, but it's got glitter all over it. Loose so glitter. Everything, yeah, like touches, it's going to be glittery. Everything the light touches. Yeah. <laughs> we also went into the Disney store and there was actually quite a lot, a few things in there which I thought were, were really nice. Normally it's just crap in it. Yeah. Um, but I picked up this little tiki, tiki room bracelet. I really did love it, but it was $17.99. And I thought, if I don't buy anything later in the holiday, I might buy it. We're kind of thinking because it's like one o'clock, we've had a nice slow pace. We might head to, or back on iDrive, and get some like proper lunch so that we can do stain screen. So this is the dress that I bought at the Orlando Premium Outlet. I've tried it on the proper bra. I think I'll keep it because I love it. I can't stop thinking about it. Um, hope you guys like it. So this was, I um, can't remember, $38 or $39? I realise my tag's hanging out. I'm just trying it on in case I wanted to take it back. $38.90. $38.90. Obviously the bus tax. Do so you think I should keep it? I think it's nice. Okay. I mean, I don't know when you wear it and where to. Christmas! <laughs> I am super glittery. Like, look at my chest now. That's the other thing. It's proper glittery. You're gonna leave a trail of glitter. Well, it'll be like that. Look, that uh, troll. Yeah, that troll that like. <laughs> <I'm splitting. laughs> okay, I keep it. So we are currently on the I Rides trolley, going southbound now. Just to let you know that if you ever want to stop at a stop, you can't stop anywhere. You give this yellow cord a good tug, and it'll ring the bell, and then he'll know to stop at the next stop. Okay, guys. So we just got off. Stop 12, I think he said. And we are now on International Drive, opposite BJ's, which is very good by the way. Um, and we're going to go into the Walt Disney World store. Haven't ever been in there before, so um, we're going to ask about the possibility of buying a one day ticket to Epcot, how much that would be. So we'll let you know. So this is the store, I think over the right side you get tickets and information on um, passes, and on the left side you pay your whatever you bought. It's a nice little store in here. Got quite a few bits, bits and bobs, some seasonal stuff like the Halloween stuff. Through there you can have a look at the um, vacation club stuff. Like Magic Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, hi mom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, park tickets have been acquired. When I say ticket? Ticket. Ticket. One each. Um, we're both going to Epcot on Monday for food and wine and hopefully get on Guardians. I think I'll brave it. I'll, I'll, I'll be gutted if I miss out. Yeah. So the one day ticket was $109 each plus tax, which worked out about $116. Oh, I'm only dripped yeah. on the camera then. Yeah, so I didn't think that was too bad a price. When I've tried to buy it online, you normally have to get either like two days minimum or um, I just thought that was a, it was a fine price. It's about average of what I've seen. So we got it. We're going to Epcot on Monday. Yeah. I'm so excited. Food and wine, baby. Right, we're going to walk up the strip a little bit to Twin Peaks, we're thinking. Obviously, we didn't go to the Florida Mall. We thought we'd save that for another day. We're going to head to Twin Peaks, have a bite to eat, and then um, four nights later. I was just saying, the guy that served us was really nice. I like, can't fault him, but when we were leaving, he said, have a good one. And I was like, you didn't say have a magical day. Where's my magical day? I want a magical day. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I'm going to get my money back. I just love it here. I nearly said that myself, but I thought, I always say that on every plan. I just love it here. <laughs> I just love it here. Like, we haven't really done much today, but just 
just being here, just calling it. Just like looking about and things that have gone and come and... Yeah. Um, We've we're noticing a few new places along I drive. Yeah. Oh, look, the star flyer is up. Got some dodgy looking clouds coming in. We have. We didn't say rain on the app though, did it? No. But, you know, as Baz has said, every day there's usually a storm. So, uh, I wouldn't discount having a bit of rain. I'm hot. Yeah, it is hot. Oh, we've got no sun cream on, we better get going. Come on. They even play a rage against the machine in here. Can this place get any better? Huh? Can this place get any better? Is this place getting me down? Can it get any better? Oh. <laughs> so our food has just arrived, we've got some lovely seasoned chips. Beautiful burger, um, cheeseburger and a side of mac and cheese. I'm excited for this, this looks good. This was a good choice. The mac and cheese is really good. The burger is excellent. The coating on the fries is really nice. Yeah, I totally agree. Going down very nicely. Now if anybody's interested, this is our bill from Twin Peaks. So Scott had two angry orchards, I had a Coke, the cheeseburger and the mac and cheese on the side. 37.23 plus a tip. And I'm keeping this one a secret. So on the 28th of October, ah we won't be here, haha <laughs> Scotty, Halloween leather and lace costume party. So all the girls will be in leather and lace. Look what you're going to miss out on. The 28th to the 31st of October, Halloween leather and lace. What? Got it. Oh, you're all blurry. It's my disappointment. I'm <laughs> blurry. I'm blurry. <laughs> I literally can't get it on you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Universal property, baby. We're back. And security were well nice, weren't they? Yeah. They're like, the actual guy that, you know, scans you up and down, he's like, thank you for coming. Like, thank you. Then I do. We are hot hot footing it to guest services because we've got to get our tickets, our Horror Nights tickets. We've already bought them, we just need to change the paper. But we only have a limited amount of time before five o'clock when they shut the gates. I'm in such a rush, I'm not even like looking around at the Universal Ball or anything. The music. Yay, I see the Horror Yeah, We've avoided all Twitter and everything. This is the first time I've seen these so signs and everything. Oh, I've got such a stitch, I think I might throw up. Excuse me, you're proud of me coming through. Come on down. We made it in, we got our tickets. Yes. Bloody sweating. Absolutely sweating. I said, I said earlier, we've avoided Twitter. Yeah. So we don't know where houses are or where we should be. We, we don't know what sand screen to go for because we don't know which one exits, exits for what house. house. So, I don't know, I think we're going to try the weekend one. We were speaking to Craig earlier and he said that's by the Pets show. And he reckons that's the best house, so yeah. we're going to see what that's like. Just walking through some of the scare zones, they look really cool. We've got a couple minutes before we need to head to the stain screen. So we just come in here for some aircon. Wow. I really like this shirt, it's kind of the, the house shirt for this year. Got black light react. Yeah, I'll probably be getting that one. Cool I quite like that one, the 31, every day is Halloween. They're all cool. Oh, these are tiki cups. Ah, I've seen how much these are. Tiki ones. Yeah, I can't believe they're that price, but they are, they're $60. Oof. They could go good in our bar, though. They would. Like, he's cool, isn't he? Very cool. Collection on the back Frankenstein's Bride, Frankenstein, Dracula, Gilman, Tiki Toot. Gilman's creature from the back of the game. Tiki Toot, Toot's cool. Just spotted this hat, it's really cool. They look cool? Yeah, a bit big for you, I think. Yeah, my head's tiny. Oh, there's like five dance numbers. Yeah, ooh. Oh, what's your, uh, what's your, uh, what's your voice rate again? Ew. <laughs> from where I stand. But anyway, uh, we'll, I'll work that out later, okay? Thanks. Thanks uh, I'll be there. Thank you for the rest of the time. Play the room! <laughs> now I'm just kidding. Do just buy stuff, all right? Everybody? Buy stuff. I was over there looking at stuff, but I heard Beetlejuice. I was like, I came over, he's talking to you. What's your range? And I said E flat. Like, Is I just it? had the one note. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I don't even remember what my range is. Coming up to the scarecrow scare zone. Wow, look at this. Look at all this scarecrow goodness. It's gonna be spooky later. I love wellies. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still living wellies. There I am admiring the, the theming and the horror. I yes, wellies. I love wellies. Wellies, not wellies. No, wellies are okay. Well, I like wellies better. <laughs> Change of plan. We've now come to the stay and scream for Blumhouse because the other one was like in the direct sun and we're really hot. So. And it was meant to be cute. Mm. I mean, we want to do them all, so... I guess we'll try this one. If it's a more quiet one, then hopefully we should get through it real quick and go into the next one. Yeah, so this area is by the bar, the Cher's Alcatraz, the Jaws bar. And they have this nice aircon shop. So we've had a hectic half hour. We've done Love House. We did Man's Pier. And we're now going to do the Chupacabra one. The Dead Man's Pier has standed out for me so far. Yeah, really good. Really great detail, really pretty house. Pretty house? Uh, probably not pretty, but... Just the really, treatment was really good. Really effective, really good. Yeah, so I mean, it's super hot in the sun, and hot, but really enjoying Horror Nights so far. And don't worry, we won't give any spoilers to anybody who's coming here. There will be no spoilers, this might not even be out in time. <laughs> Never mind. This is quite cool. It's a sturdy glass as well, but sometimes they're really thin, aren't they? But that doesn't go too, too thin. Do I look cute? Yep. Fits my head perfectly. <laughs> my head's too big. It's reversible. That would be just 34 doll hairs. Well, Scott has his cider there. What was it? Peca pecan? Pumpkin pecan cider? Pecan pie cider. And? It's very strange. Is it sweet? Not overly sweet. It tastes like how it sounds. But do you like it? I probably won't get it again. Oh dear. This was 12.78 with the tax on it. I mean, I'm gonna drink it, don't worry about that. But... Don't you worry about that. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't get it again. No? I mean, it? I'll try it. Ooh, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. You know those candles that smell really biscuity? It yeah, tastes it like, like one of those candles. It, smells, well, it tastes like one of those Bath and Body Works candles. Yeah, like, they're, they're like either a biscuity or a pie one. Ugh. I couldn't even drink that. I mean, I'm gonna give it a go. I pay for it. Yeah, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. No matter how much it costs, it, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> well, it is super busy. It's so busy that this is the freestyle Coca-Cola line. Um, that that is disgusting. I can't believe that's that awful. It's pretty bad. That was a fail. That was the biggest fail ever. What? <laughs> Are you just gonna hold that or are you actually gonna drink it? I'm sipping it. Just throw it away. Don't drink it, it's horrible. I can tell you don't like it because you're sipping it. <laughs> throw it away now, put it down the drain. <laughs> Give it to him. It must be awful if he, <laughs> look at him. He's throwing it away, he can't drink it. It's pretty minging to be fair. Oh. We'll get you another one, a better one. Go get a margarita. Yeah. A 
But this is the show that we're heading to, Ghoulish, a Halloween tale. So it's on on the hour every hour until 12 o'clock. This is cool. Uh, we've never actually seen uh, the Water Fountain show before. So we don't know where the best place to be is or... I love the spooky music too. It reminded me of what I've been to at Halloween. That's always good, isn't it? That's the other, the other thing. I don't know, I can't get used to the really rocky music everywhere. Yeah, because you want atmospheric. Yeah, normally it's like that sort of 80s like, kind of thing. Yeah. This is really cool. Halloween. 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 So you might not be able to see us at all, but I'm sure you can hear us. The water fountain show it was really, really good. Yeah. Like we both love music, don't we? So I feel that was aimed towards us. I didn't understand any kind of story. No, not really. But I thought the sound system was so good. Yeah. And it was just, well, I've never seen anything quite like the water fountain. It was yeah. so, so good. Really cool. Um, there was a bit. I won't say what bit, but we both got goosebumps. I think. Yeah, definitely. Now we have come to. Uh, well, actually, I don't know what this place is called. Uh, no. But we have now got pizza fries, which we haven't had for like, well, four years? Yeah, quite a while. We only had them once. Scott says they are so hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they are quite hot. I don't think we'll be eating them for a few <laughs> really minutes. <hot. laughs> and a grape uh, lemonade, which we are both chomping at a bit for. So thirsty. So after some very nice but very salty pizza fries, we decided that we will head out of the park, it's getting quite busy now, and we're going to go to Margaritaville for a nightcap, and obviously we're going to look in the shop, aren't we, and probably buy something. <laughs> ah, this is such a good night, isn't it? Yeah. Whole, well, a whole day has been really, really good. And I feel awesome that it's like the first day. You know, we've got loads of holiday ahead of us, it's not like, oh, we're running out of days. It's really good. So we just bumped into Luke, um, who we met out here before, but briefly, and his girlfriend Liz, they're very nice. And hopefully we get to hang out with them soon. Yeah, hopefully grab a beer or something. Yeah, so is he local to Orlando? I think so. Or fairly local. Yeah. Cool, some music going on down here. I guess he was wasting away again. Wasting away again in margarita. Again. You got a who's to blame? And I'm gonna try a lemon blueberry margarita. And we just bumped into. Look, yeah, Laura, Laura and Dane. They are awesome. <laughs> like we could just get on with them. House on fire. Can't believe we spotted them at Fat Tuesday. They had, they had to be at the bar. I mean, where else would they be? <laughs> awesome. So blurry. How does that compare to the cider? No <laughs> you can actually drink that one. <laughs> Two minutes later. <laughs> Wait. <Wait-o. laughs> We need to be a SpongeBob fan to understand that reference. <laughs> so Scott's just ordered another Who's to Blame, and he's just said there's no palm tree in my margarita. And I said to him, it's probably inflation. Cutbacks. Cut, cutbacks. It sounded like you said something else then. Oh, that too. <laughs> I normally take them all home. I've got like a little pot at home. Yeah, he kept all his little palm trees from the last trip. Puts them in his cheeseburger in paradise when we get home. Can you put them in your mum's water? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> this light is unforgiving, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Are we in heaven? <laughs> so we've just finished our drinks off at Margaritaville. They were lovely. Very nice. And strong. That's why we're ending the vlog here. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. We'll see you later. Bye.